Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about splitting a large file into smaller pieces so it can fit on a certain kind of storage medium. So this used to be used quite a bit back in the days of floppy disks because floppies would hold about one and a half megabytes. So if you had a 10 megabyte file, you might have to split it apart to store it on different floppies. So it's not needed as much these days, but there are instances where you might still need it. So what I have here is I have a flash drive installed. This is a 128 gigabyte flash drive, but it's formatted with FAT32. So that means the files can be no larger than four gigabytes. So I have a file here that's 10 gigabytes. So if I try and copy this over, it's going to say it's too large to fit the volumes format. So I'll hit OK. So what we can do is use the split command on the command line to copy this file over into smaller chunks. So this should work on Mac OS, it should work on Linux, and also Windows subsystem for Linux. The different systems may have slightly different arguments that you can use. So if we go to our command line, you can type man space split, and you can read through this to find uh, if something's not working for you on Windows or Linux. So I'll clear my screen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the target drive. So I'll type cd space forward slash volumes forward slash flash drive. I'll hit enter. And I'll put a link below to my website where I'll have some of these commands I'm typing out. So I want to copy this file here onto the flash drive, this 10 gigabyte file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type split space dash b 4000 m so this would be four gigabytes. On some systems, I think you can just do like 4G, but on the Mac version, you have to do 4,000 megabytes. Then I'll type space, and then I'll type the name of this file. And on a lot of systems, you can just drag it right in there instead of typing it. So now I want to enter in a prefix for this. So I'll just call it vid, and then I'll hit enter. And now what this is doing is it's splitting that file apart. It should end up in three different parts because it's 10 gigabytes. So you'd have two four gigabyte files, and then one that's 2.2 gigabytes, roughly. So if I open up the flash drive, we can see the progress it's made. So it's starting on vidAA, and this will take a little while. I'll speed the video up here. So we have the three files, and they fit on this FAT32 formatted flash drive. So now if we want to turn these back into a regular file, what we can do is let me go to a directory here. I'll go to my desktop. So now I want to type cat space forward slash and I'll type volumes forward slash flash drive and then I'll type vid and then asterisk and then I'll hit space and then greater than and then I'll type I need a file that would have the right extension so this was segment one but I can call this whatever I want I can call it vid.mp4. We just need the extension on there to associate it with the correct software. So I'll hit enter here and what this will do cat means concatenate so this will concatenate or join together all of those files and create the original file. So I'll hit enter here. Okay, that's finished. So if I go to my desktop here, I can find the file called vid.mp4 and I'll double click on it and it opens up and I can play the video. So I want to know if this has corrupted anything in the whole process. So what I can do here is I can type md5 space and I did a previous video on using SHA hashes but md5 will work just the same for what we're doing and we're going to calculate a hash on these two files. So I'll drag down here segment 001 and I'll hit enter here. Okay, so now I'll do the same for the other file, vid.mp4. So now we can see that the md5 sum is the same for the original file and the one that we reconstructed. So I'm just going to delete this vid file real quick so it doesn't get stored to my backup. I'll clear my screen here. So say you want to test these out right after you create them and you don't want to recreate the original file, what you can do is you can type cat, space forward slash volumes forward slash flash drive or wherever your files are stored and then vid asterisk and I have a asterisk because these all say vid a but if you have a large enough file it could say b in the fourth column here. Then I'll type space and then pipe and then md5 and I'll hit enter. So on other systems you'll type md5 sum. On a Mac you type md5 but it does the same thing. Okay and here we go and I think we got the same result but I cleared my screen so but I vaguely remember it starting with 8B and ending with B9. Another place where you could potentially use this is if you're sending large files over the internet and if you have a not so great connection and it breaks every once in a while, you could cut your large file down into smaller chunks and send those. And if one of the transfers fails, you can then just send a smaller file over instead of restarting the whole download. This was certainly more useful back when people used to use floppies and zip drives and things like that, but it is still useful today sometimes when you have certain constraints and you're trying to get some job done. So I didn't dive into every little intricacy of this, but if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. 
and thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.